Segments of the following have been contributed by various members of our family. And I am here today to share them and the love of my Uncle John to all of you. My Uncle John was repeatedly asked, why do you always have to be at such a busy station? He would humbly respond with, I wanted to be a fireman. You don't understand the adrenaline rush and the feeling that comes with helping people in that situation. Being a hero was a common occurrence for my uncle, although he'd never admit it. Every one of you firemen, police officers, and anyone serving our country is a hero. My uncle was a hero to many of us on a daily basis. With that being said, it's an honor to stand here before all of you on behalf of the Mesh family, remembering our fallen hero. Anybody that knows my uncle knows that his three passions in life were being a fireman, hunting, and most importantly, his family. For those of you who didn't know him, I really wish you could have. Aside from his heroic qualities, he was also known for making people laugh with sarcastic remarks and, smi <laughs> and putting smile on people's faces because of his kind heart. In 2002, he began his lifelong dream and following in his older brother Mark's footsteps, becoming a fireman. That was when he began his journey, becoming the hero we were remembering him for today. My uncle was a very private and humble man. He wore his badge of honor, not for any kind of recognition, but for the pride he had in doing the best he could at upholding the proud heritage of the Kansas City Fire Department Brotherhood. Since Monday night, when this tragic event took place, we received an overwhelming amount of support, near and far, that this family and the Legio family deeply appreciates. Within all of these messages, the common theme, courage and bravery, those two words, I believe, are the perfect definition of these two men. My Uncle John spent most of his time working at the station and in his spare time working with a dear friend, all in efforts to support his beautiful family. He was a dedicated family man and a great supporter, wanting his girls to be able to experience as much in life as possible. That being said, one of his fondest hobbies was exploring the outdoors. It is here where he spent time relaxing and hunting, one of his truest passions. His passion for the outdoors began at an early age. He had a proud father and older brothers to follow into the woods. It was here where Uncle John began to understand the importance of the tradition that he would later pass to his little ponytailed girls. He loved to climb into his camouflage and spend a day relaxing in the woods with his brothers and his daughters. Now is the time where I will share 
some of his daughter's fondest memories. Adriana said his job was saving people. It's what he loved to do. When he was away from the station, he'd still be talking about it. He also loved the people he worked with, like they were family. You are all our family. It's what he always said. Alyssa, she said, I've always looked up to you, Dad. Being my example of strength, competence, and kindness. I'm so grateful I will be under your care and protection for the rest of my life. Never would I have expected this to happen to you. You're so strong, brave, and heroic. I learned so much from you, and I'm so blessed to have you in my life. I know you will be at my graduation when I walk across that stage, when I go off to college, and when I one day walk down the aisle. I think about you every night and know you're in God's hands and you're now with Uncle Tony and Papa. I admire you so much. You were my hero. Alex said, my daddy was a great man for a lot of reasons. His sacrifice, courage, and heroic ability. We all love you so much, Daddy, and miss you dearly. I can't wait to see you and Uncle Tony again, and of course meet Papa for the first time. I love you, Daddy. Alicia said he was so kind had so many friends and family. We all love you so much, Daddy. I just know you'll come home. As busy as this proud man was raising his beautiful young family, he always found time to be there for any family member, especially his mother. For an example of the kind of man he was, Uncle John found unique ways to express his love, especially to his wife, Felicia. He made sure his anniversary had another rose added to the bouquet, each year to remind her how their love continued to grow with every year that passed. He was definitely a man of tradition and unity. We're such a large family but every one of us knew how much he really loved us. We're all so blessed to have such a large family in this situation. He wanted nothing more but for us to be there for each other at all times. I hope and pray that my Aunt Felicia, my little cousins, and my family find some small amount of peace in their hearts, <laughs> knowing that the hero they loved so deeply paid the ultimate sacrifice and showed the greatest love, laying down his life to save others. We need to honor the courage he, Larry, and the Kansas City Fire Department put on display on that fateful night. My uncle was everything a son, a brother, a husband, a father, an uncle, and a friend could be. He was a good man. Gone but never forgotten, we will forever love and miss you, Uncle John. Thank you, you and Larry, for being a hero to this city. incredible words from the people who knew these two men so well. 
Uh, now we expect a bell ceremony from the Chief Paul Berardi and Battalion Chief Curtis Edwards. Of today's fire service are confronted with a more dangerous work environment than ever before. You are forced to continually change your strategies and change your tactics to accomplish your mission. Your methods may change, but your goals remain the same as they were in the past, to save lives and to protect property, sometimes at a terrible cost. The fire service of today is ever-changing but is also steeped in traditions that are over 200 years old. One such tradition of the Kansas City Department is the last alarm. And here to lead us in this solemn observance is once again Chief Berardi.